Okay, so for some time now I've been receiving comments here and there telling me how dare if I covered a game that in the end looks like such a scam and completely different than what was advertised with its trailers and such. I get that for many videos since I cover all kinds of indie games, but there is one project in particular that is fooling a lot of people into thinking it is the real deal and I can't blame them because it looks very, very similar and almost has the same name too. A lot of you guys here on this channel might know about the upcoming FPS horror game ill that looks to have so much potential and is being backed by several popular voice actors, movie animators and some industry veterans. Well since this game is attracting a lot of people, recently a new studio decided to come out and reveal a pretty similar upcoming game called Illness. Actually if you take a closer look this is the exact same thing, just more like a dollar store version. It's almost like they want people to mistakenly buy this game instead of the actual real ill project. The game is even coming in 2022, so believe it or not, some people might buy this thinking they're gonna be playing the real version. This is where I think Steam or even the developers of Ill should be able to come in and send a copyright claim for this exact copy, because some people will be fooled by this illness game. Even the developers of Ill themselves have said on Twitter that these guys are copying their project. Even some gaming websites are making articles on this game thinking that it is the real Ill and that it has a gameplay trailer but this is not the real game. Please do not be fooled by illness. Even these developers working on illness contacted me and multiple other content creators to cover their game but even if I wanted to the game just looks bad anyway. It is literally a copy just with a different story to it and they also have almost the exact same logo of the real ill game. So please don't be fooled. Ill on the other hand is looking really promising and recently has been making a tons more progress in its development. They have been expanding their team, working on some new gameplay elements, new monsters that look even more gruesome, more dismemberment options and overall a more focused story element. At first when Ale was revealed a lot of people like myself thought that it was a fake game but turns out it's actually not because they have got the voice actor of Leon in Resident Evil to voice the main protagonist and also Lorne making the soundtrack and they are really passionate about making this game like the most realistic gory brutal game that there is with a ton of dismemberment, gore, just creepy monsters, creepy enemies, creepy locations and overall a creepy story. We have no idea when, of when it will release, maybe 2023, 2024, but count me in to cover it. Make sure you guys support this video and subscribe. <laughs>